Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. You got a hot date tonight? Well, I've got a sweet look for you topped off with this sweet, cute little hairstyle. Now, here's what you got to do. First, um, you want to prep your face with a little bit of coverage. Now, ladies, if you don't necessarily need that much foundation, a little advice on this part. Don't overdo it. There is nothing attractive about showing up to a date with a thick, cakey face. Not cute at all. Next, go ahead and apply a little concealer, and here I'm using Heavy Duty Concealer by Hard Candy. A little bit of this product goes a long way, so you don't need too much to, do to cover any dark circles and imperfections. And I'm also going to rub this on my eyelids because this can also work as a primer too. Now picking up a matte taupe eyeshadow, I'm just going to define my brows, giving them a little bit more shape and fullness. Now as you can see here, I have some awful brows, so I'm going to really need some help on this part. But I'm just going to keep my brows very soft and subtle. And in here, I'm just going to finish them off with some brow gel just to keep the little hairs in place. I'm just going to be going into the Shimmery Pink Champagne Eyeshadow by Lancome. And then using my finger, I'm just going to dab this product all over my lids and using this shade as sort of a base color. Picking up some matte gray with a crease brush, just going to deepen up my outer corner and my crease with this color. And then going into that same shade, you want to smudge this underneath your eyes if you would like some added drama. Then using your fingers again, dab a medium lilac shade on the center of your eyelids. Now take any highlight shade and then highlight your brow bone, brow bones I mean, or I should say. And of course you want to highlight your tear duct just to brighten up the area. Time for some eyeliner. This is L'Oreal's Infallible 24-7 Gel Liner. I am in love with this eyeliner and I can't believe I didn't know about this before. And now you want to draw a line on the outer half of your lash line and then wing it out for a cat eye effect. And of course you want to curl your eyelashes and apply a thick coat of black mascara on top. You can apply false lashes here but I'm not going to be using any of those today. Don't forget your bottom lashes and in here I'm using brown mascara. I'm just applying my favorite cream apricot blush by Revlon. If you don't have a cream blush you can use a matte lipstick too if you want a nice cheek stain. I just find that stains or cream blushes tend to give you a nice dewy finish rather than a powdery finish. Now for a Valentine's Day, I would use lip liners or lip stains rather than lipsticks just because there might be some lip to lip action by the end of the night and you want to keep it clean. I'm actually going to be using two different lip liners in here. One is a natural shade by NYX and the other one is a brighter pink by Rimmel. I did want to create a rosy lip color but for some frustrating reason it always looks more red on camera but it's really more rosy in person, trust me. I talk so much that I cannot keep up with this video. Okay, now I'll apply lip gloss. I'm using Juicy Gels by Lancome in here. Makeup is done, now time for the hair. Now, I already gave myself a little blowout with a round brush and a hair dryer for some waves. Um, I think I can work with a little bit of dry shampoo since I did not wash my hair yesterday. This is Dry Shampoo by Tresemme, and I'm just working this product on problem areas and my roots. And this actually works pretty well when it comes to volumizing the hair, and it does give your hair a little bit of lift. And now you want to grab the top half of your hair and sort of making a half ponytail at the back, and you may want to sort of push the hair up for some extra volume if you want. And now let's start French braiding the hair. So holding on to the middle pony, you want to grab two more sections in similar size on each side and then cross them over to the middle to create a French braid effect. And if you want, you can bring the ponytail to the side and then you want to secure it down with an elastic band. Here I'm just adding more volume and puffing up my hair. You can choose to use a rat tail comb for this part, but I don't own one, so I'm just using a very thin makeup brush to do the job. And for me, I'm just going to be lifting the back, the crown of my head, and the sides of my hair. And now I'm just taking a curling iron 
and then just curling my bangs in the um, hair pieces um, framing around my face. And now just finishing it off with a little hairspray and then just doing some final adjustments to the ponytail. You are now ready for your hot date tonight or night out with the single ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. I totally forgot to wave towards the end because my battery ran out, but I guess I'll just give you a virtual one. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Always remember to love one another, whether it is your friends, family, spouse, significant other, or even your enemies, every day and not just one day of the whole year. Be happy and safe. XOXO, Jackie Lung.